All right, guys, welcome to Marine Life. On today's video, we're gonna go through the installation process of my new fusion rig that I got. So replacing the old one in here, that's very good, works no problem. There's even a new sticker still on it, I haven't used it that much. With this new version. Um, I got the opportunity to buy this video for half the price, it's brand new box. Never been installed, so I jumped on it while I was looking for some speakers. I figured a good deal with something good. I buy it a lot of times, it's a good value. The main process of this one is this one's an NME A2000, which allows me to control with the Garmin, so it makes it really easy sometimes and integrates everything into one unit, make my life easy. So actually, if I really want, I can put it back in there, but the problem is it's not gonna fit very well into there, so I prefer to have it just to be installing it here today. I'm gonna show you the process how to install it. What do you need? What tools? We'll go over that. All right, guys, so I'm starting. I took this off because I want to move it up a little higher. I'm going to be uh, putting tape here. I want to measure, so I'm going to take this off again. So if you're like me, that needs to be perfect. If you want to be a measure, I like to be even with this. So I think of this piece right here. This is a template. They always give templates for this stuff makes it easy so i want to compensate a little bit so in the middle so something like right there be good so that's gonna be perfect right there so let me get some tape and then show you what it looks like all right so i got this uh template ready like i said every box comes with a template too and see what i'm doing i got a straight edge and i want it to be even with my Garmin to so make it look nice and professional. So, oops. So I don't want to touch. I want to give a little gap between both. So, probably something right there. See, it looks to be a little bit, a little bit off, it looks like. So, a little bit down. I'm using blue painter's tape because you can kind of like take it off, put it on again. And then once I get it where I want to be, it looks about perfect there. So yeah, it's gonna be flush even with this. That's kind of what I want. So go ahead in the corners. All right. So going to when you get templates, you can see what I'm be cutting. It's gonna be right here. So usually when you get radios, it comes with templates to cut out the hole for not existing. I put a little bit of tape here first, but you can see I'm not cutting the outside. This is the, where the screws go into here. So um, and you'll see in a minute. So I'm gonna put the lid back on this. I don't want to cut into that by accident. So I want to keep it on for protection. So, but I already measured it, so I know it fit fine there. This look, it looks even, not you know. And see a little bit different with this. Yep. Like I said, it's flush, perfect. I mean, as good as it's gonna get. Um, so we're gonna drill into these four corners with a drill bit, as it says here, and I cut inside these dotted lines right here, all the way around. Now the blue tape is gonna keep me from going outside the line. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be putting tape right here to keep me inside from going outside the lines. I'll do that now. Because the screw holes goes outside. This is the going because it's gonna go in. Let's see. Oops. Yeah, make sure it's flat too, so you're not messing up anything. So I want the pair to be super flat on here. Because then it's crunched up, it's not gonna match up the lines. Perfect. So we got it all taped up. Now it's time to start drilling. And I want to drill into these four corners we're showing. So I start with a smaller bit just in case, that way um, it doesn't get much paper messed up or anything like that. So I want to mark it. And there goes that first one's done. I'll do another one. This is kind of why you want to keep the tape there too, because see the paper line is still there. So I'm not losing that at all. Not still there. 
Um, and maybe the reason for the hole is to give it guidance around the edges to where to cut, right? And uh, you're gonna see once we start cutting, that paper's probably gonna get destroyed and crushed. But the blue tape should help us keep it in line, so I'll put some more blue tape on top. So we got the four corners drilled in already. So we got two options. You can use uh, one of these uh, type of saws. I like these a lot better. Um, most people recommend using a jigsaw. The problem with the jigsaw is that it's kind of not it's too big for what I'm trying to do. Um, so I'm gonna go today with the Austin saw. And the saw is pretty good. It allows me to cut anything. I'm positioned for a small, spaces right and it's kind of hard to get a solid jigsaw because it's a tight space in there and if I didn't have the uh, garment in there it'd be okay but because the garment is there I'm going to go my other saw so they didn't have good tools to do this you know so these are the uh, offline saw but you see how the blade allows me to go in different places so I'm gonna put another piece of tape there just in case the outline gets messed up and I don't lose my actual place. So let me just let's do this. So leave me up right there. Perfect. Alright, so let's start cutting into it. And uh, you see how the saw works pretty cool. So Not the best thing. If I wanted to, I really can cut it out with a, my Ryobi. I have a Ryobi that cut right through that. Uh, if you want to do it that route, you can. Uh, I, may, I may depend if it fits or not. But let's vacuum up real quick and we'll test fit the radio. So you vacuum it up, cleaned it. Um, like I said, it's not perfect, but if you're looking for perfect, you can pay professional. But honestly, you can't even see that because the radio you'll see in a minute to be covered up the whole hole so like i said this is a radio cover brand new so literally it's just making a space to fit and this is all we do a test fit doesn't fit so at this point it's the bottom part so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my ryobi it's the orbital saw that i have here as you can see that and uh, I want to cut the bottom trim to trim it. So I'm just going to use my orbital saw. I'm just going to be trimming this right here um, to get a little more space to fit in. That way it's not cutting too much. This is paper and that's why you put tape guys we're from damaging gel coat fits let me see this is like you're sitting right here in the corner top corner so what about the top corner should go right in like a glove if you got a dremel you can use a dremel too to smooth out the sizes the sides um Yep, look at that. Perfect fit, guys. 
So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it back out, take the tape off, and then drill back in. So let's clean up the air really good. I vacuum it again. Uh, get a wet napkin and clean all the dust off, stuff like that. Like I said, you won't be able to see all that nasty hole from the outside anyway, it's just like a cut in, so. Um, so if you want to fix that edge, you can always use the Dremel or even with this, a little bit of corner here to kind of smooth it out. You see? Just gotta be careful to move that guy in a corner here, I want too much on it. That's pretty much smoothed out now, so. All right, let's vacuum it, clean it up, and then we'll screw it in and install it. Um, the wiring we're gonna have to do today, do some other time, but at least it's already in there. If we start connecting everything, we'll go over that, so. Mounting is actually the more difficult part. I used to install for Circuit City a lot of years. I should just had a dip jip the uh, gel coat down there. So jip on, like I said, you won't be able to see that anyway. But once it goes in, that hides. For like me, the body anyways. So like things done like all the way. But like I said, you want to pay someone $100 an hour, you can. Or if you like me, or have experience. You guys might even be better doing this than I am. But like I said, this way. So this comes with a gasket. So, but before I put the gasket, we want to drill the holes into it because this is held by screws. Some people put 5200 with that fist practical glove. And like I said, look at the you can't even see the chip down there of the gel coat. Look at that, fits really nice, perfect there. So, we'll right there, we'll drill the four screws in, uh, the holes for it. You want to screw first the holes. Not so this is cut the joker around this, so you want to make holes for the screws first. Well, at least mark it with a pencil. I would mark it that we're not messing up the radio plastic. So, so just drilling into it. So, let's go there. So, we'll mark the holes. You gotta be careful not to move on you. Cause then it won't line up. See what I'm saying? Just move to me again. So, just hold it in my hand. The screws hold right in there, but the seal goes in first. Once it goes in place, you won't even see it. So I'll pull it out. We got a small bit for the drill. When I do guys, I'll take a drill bit that size and then if it passes the hole while hitting it it's perfect size for me because you don't want to make it too big where then the screws won't screw down so so small is always better remember that so I want to start a small hole It doesn't crack the gel coat when you do it that way. That should be perfect there. Right, let's get the screws out of the bag. let you guys know too there's a gasket that comes with these things and that's why you want to wipe it down clean it
That way the gas will see you. Some people put 5200. And there's a reason behind I don't do that is because you gotta take it out. You gotta break it. Like my Garmin, that does have 5200. But I don't take that sucker out. Um, people steal it, you know, so the 5200 has to break it before it comes off. It does get damaged, kind of screwed though, but my guy who installed it for me did it like that. Now my advice is when doing this, use, use a hand tool. Hey, you want to slip and scratch your screen. And, uh, see, because right now, oh, slips and you don't strip the screws. so I can actually just plug it up after I uh, get it wired in. You can see for the amps, three outs here, you plug it in as well. This is Apollo, um, I think it's the uh, RA670, yeah. It's like top of the line one to the, actually the most expensive one is $700, which is wi has Wi-Fi built in. This one does not have the Wi-Fi, or it's not touchscreen either. So, and so I got lucky with this. Like I said, I bought it. It's brand new, but it was pre-bought, so but it was brand new in the box. So it's taking longer like this, but hey. Nothing damaged, nothing scratched. You could put some V200 on the screws to make it tighter in there, but I'm not gonna do that yet. To, in case I gotta take it apart again. caps to finish your job wow that looks nice actually looks very nice. Looks nice and straight, even. Voila. Nice finish to it. I like it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, next video I'll make, I'll probably do the installation video for wiring, if you guys want to see that. Uh, if not, at least you can see how to cut a hole and make messes in your boat. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you want to watch anything in particular, let me know. See if I can do it for you guys, help you guys out. Thank you.